Okay, in this video, I'm gonna tell you specifically a proven plan of how to break 90 minutes for half marathon. And that's a great time. If you can run 90 minutes for half marathon, it's just a matter of training before you can do a marathon in sub three hours. And I used exactly these training strategies and specific training sessions in order to go from not being able to break two hours for a half marathon to being able to run a half marathon comfortably in 69 minutes. And then from that platform, go on to run two hours 21 for the marathon and represent my country in both the marathon and the ultra marathon. So the goal pace for half marathon, 90 minutes, is 4.15 per kilometer or 6.52 per mile. So we need to become comfortable at running for 4.15 per kilometer. And to do that, depending on our start point, you may be able to already hold that for 10 kilometers. You may be able to hold that only for five kilometers and run a 5K in 21.15. At that point, I'd say that you're probably at least a couple of training schedules, so a couple of 13-week blocks, six months away from being able to turn that 5K pace that you can currently hold into a half marathon pace and run sub 90 minutes. So depending on your start point, depends on how long it's gonna take you to actually get to attacking that race day, knowing that you're confident that you can hold that pace for the full distance. Specific interval session number one. What you wanna do is get used to working with a volume of about eight kilometers. So eight kilometers, total hard work, and I'll have that on the midweek Wednesday interval session. And the way we're gonna break it up initially is break it into 500 meters. So you're gonna do 16 times 500 meters, which is eight kilometers total volume with 60 seconds rest in between. What I want you to focus on initially is how fast can you run those 16 times 500 meters? There's quite a lot of volume to deal with, but if you need to build up to that, if you're currently doing your interval session and it's four kilometers or five kilometers of total volume, don't all of a sudden double that and get to eight kilometers. It may mean that you've got to go from four to five 5.5, 6, and gradually get up to 8 kilometers. That's a way to safely get yourself to a point where you can handle the volume of 8 kilometers of hard work, but also let the pace come to you. So if you can currently hold those 500 meters at four minute pace, great. You're building volume at faster than the half marathon pace that you're trying to hold. And that should be quite comfortable for you quite quickly because you've got that 60 seconds rest in between. And what that's gonna do for you is eight kilometers of volume at faster, slightly faster than half marathon goal pace. Interval session number two. So again, we're working with eight kilometers of total volume. We're gonna break that into eight times a kilometer with 60 seconds rest in between. And again, I want you to try to hold that pace that you could for the 500 meters. If this takes you a few weeks to get into, whether you built up the volume from four or five kilometers total interval volume to eight kilometers, and then you're letting the pace come to you, hopefully you can maintain the pace that you could run for 500 meters for a kilometer because there's no longer 16 reps of 500 meters, there's only eight times a kilometer rep. And again, within the rest, ha be as serious and as focused during that rest. Focus on getting your breathing under control and getting your heart rate from high to low so that you can pace the session and get as much out of the session as possible. You can box those two sessions off to big leap forward. And it's a lot of confidence that you're building because you're able to handle eight kilometers of volume broken up into reps at faster than half marathon pace. Interval session three. Now what we're gonna do is jump to two kilometer reps. And we're gonna do four times two kilometers with just 60 seconds rest in between. So we're keeping that 60 seconds rest as a constant, whether we're doing 500 meter reps, 1000 meter reps, or 2000 meter reps. That's important. So we're getting used to controlling the breathing and going again, and it's gonna help us pace the session. And again, in terms of pacing, if we can get to a point where we can do four times two kilometers in four minutes pace or quicker, so building volume again at faster than half marathon pace is gonna set us up nicely for the race and to go off with the handbrake on with that feeling that you're in total control of the race so you can get to ideally 15 to 18 kilometers in the half marathon and feel super comfortable. So you're confident about your game and building volume at faster than half marathon race pace. Long run number one. So we're gonna work with 25 kilometers worth of volume. So longer than the actual race that we're preparing for. Depending on your starting point, 
it might take you some weeks to get to this and get it to a point where you can go out and run long, slow distance, conversational pace for 25 kilometers. And it doesn't matter how long it takes you in the beginning. It's about you moving over the ground, feeling efficient, thinking about your running style, practicing your running style, and getting gradually quicker for the same effort moving over the ground. It's gonna make you better runner because you're building your aerobic capacity. You're building your ability to be out there for longer than you are gonna be on race day, which is gonna enable you also to race your half marathon rather than just survive and get to the finish. Once we get to the point where we feel we can insert some half marathon specific work, we're gonna work with that 4.15 per kilometer pace, so that 90 minute half marathon pace. So what that will look like inside of the 25 kilometer long run is easy for the first 8.5 kilometers and easy for the last 8.5 kilometers. But the middle eight kilometers, we're gonna work at 4.15 per kilometer. So you're trying to hit that split and what that will feel like is hopefully for the first 8.5 kilometers and the last 8.5 kilometers, so 17 kilometers in total, you feel like you're running with a handbrake on. And what that pace should gradually get to is about 10% less than 415 pace. So 415 broken into seconds is 255 seconds. So 10% less or 10% slower is 25 seconds on top of the 415, so about 440 pace. If you need to start slower than that to gradually build up to it, so be it. Try, try to focus on that middle portion and focus on hitting that eight kilometers in 415 per kilometer. Long run number two. We're gonna work again with 25 kilometers and you're gonna keep that as a constant for the three different long runs. All we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the amount of time that we're working at half marathon pace. We're gonna increase that to 10 kilometers. So that's 7.5 kilometers to start with. And hopefully by now we've got to a point where we can run that 7.5 kilometers at 440 per kilometer. Then the middle 10 kilometers, we're able to run half marathon pace, so 415 per kilometer. And then the last 7.5 kilometers, we're going back to 440 pace. And again, if you're not yet there, this is a big chunk of distance that you're running at or very, very close to the pace that you're trying to tackle. And remember that you've got the accumulated fatigue. Once you have a taper and you freshen up the legs, it's gonna feel way, way easier to go at half marathon pace. So the fact that you're stacking that center portion, that center segment in within a 25K long run is really gonna prepare you well for the half marathon. Third long run, again, 25 kilometers long run, Easy for the first 6.5K, easy for the last 6.5K, and the middle 12 kilometers at half marathon pace. So we're looking again to hit that in 415 per kilometer pace. So the first 6.5K and the last 6.5K, we're working at hitting that 440 per kilometer. So again, we build in time at half marathon pace, and very, very close to half marathon pace for longer than the actual half marathon pace that we're going to attack. It's really important. And what I want you to focus on as well as is getting warmed up. And build that habit to, okay, I know it's gonna feel easy for you to go out there and run 440 per kilometer and maybe initially five minutes or five minute 20 per kilometer, it will feel easy. And what most runners do is put it inside their head that I'll warm up in the first two or three kilometers that's gonna to lead to an extended recovery time because your body is just not prepared to work for the distance and also that specific half marathon point. So it's really important that you get into your system that, that hardwired habit of doing a warm up and preparing your body, getting it primed to go for that long run and exactly the same on interval day as well. For me, I will do it on every single run because I know I, and from experience, I know the benefits in terms of sustainability, how long I can go without having an injury, and how robust my body can be, but more importantly, how much I get out of the session. You get way more out of a session if your body is primed, ready to tackle that session. Another pro tip is you're going to be working with exactly the same nutrition plan, the race day nutrition, that you're going to implement in your race. So think about the goal, think about how that looks, and work back and implement exactly the same in that specific long run and the interval session. So get your stomach 
used to getting in a gel or sports drink when you're running fast and when you're running far. And when you're running far, what you're doing there is you're stacking the gels. So it's every sort of 20 minutes you're taking a gel. And you're going from your current nutrition plan and maybe taking in more carbohydrates per hour, which is not only gonna energize your run, your race and your overall training, but it's also going to prevent the level of muscle damage that you would get if you wouldn't fuel those sessions, which is the most important point. A lot of people will look towards a half marathon and think, I'm only aiming to be out there for an hour and a half. I like to feel light and I like my stomach to feel empty, so I like to do it fasted. It's possible for you to go out there and run a half marathon without fueling at all. It's possible. Is it optimal? No. If you get used to your nutrition strategy, you play around with that so it works for you and you understand what gel you, you, is your preference, get that to work for you in the training so that you can gain that consistency over the weeks and months and then it works for you and it's nothing, diff nothing different on race day. Apply these tips and you will be well on your way to smashing 90 minutes for the half marathon. Once you get to that point where you can hold 415 per kilometer for a half marathon, what do you think that does when you're aiming at the marathon? For me, you then realize that you can be aiming way higher. You can be going 10% faster for the marathon. It's just a matter of implementing the right training in order to get there. What is your fastest marathon time and what's your dream time? Let me know in the comments below.